Hello everyone, it's Mary. Welcome back for another Craft Galley Design Team project. We are going to be pulling some of these fun stamps from this set right here from Newton's Nook. I thought it would be fun to play with some alcohol inks and use them in a little bit of a different way and then use some of those wine images. So I'm pulling out some Yupo paper here. This is a synthetic plasticky paper, very smooth surface. And this will allow my, my alcohol inks to sort of blend on there and make some fun kind of things happening. So I am working over a craft mat just in case. If you do get alcohol inks on your craft mat, just use some alcohol wipes and that will come up right away. So I'm gonna add just these two colors. Now starting off, it's a very corally kind of red and a blue. But what I'm gonna do is add some um, alcohol blending solution to this. And I'm just gonna get that nice, that surface nice and wet. And then I am going to almost do like you've seen those paint liquid pours happening. That's kind of what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna move this paint, this alcohol ink around. And you can kind of see at any point you can stop and it would be the coolest looking effect, right? Like this is so neat, but I just keep on going because I want to blend those colors just a little bit to get me sort of a purplish hue and make it look a little bit like red wine. So I'm just going to go back and forth and I show you this in real time because I want you to kind of see how that's working. So I love this. I think this just looks so cool. So once I get it to the blend that I like, I put it aside to dry for about 20, 25 minutes. Then I'm going to take to my stamping. I am going to use some VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink because I am going to be doing some watercoloring with my Arteza markers. So I'm just going to stamp that out onto some Bristol Smooth cardstock. And I'm going to use the other side of my block here just to stamp out my wine bottle a couple times. Now you would think that that wine bottle is disproportionate to the wine glass. However, you haven't seen my wine glasses. <laughs> I have goblets, I call them. They're huge. But okay, so let's get to color in here and I'm going to be using these colors. I'm going to be mixing them together to get me this purplish red wine kind of look. Um, I, I've, I think I've seen wine this color-ish but it's a very pretty mix of colors. And then I'm just gonna use my water brush to pull those two colors out. And I like the way that that came out. So I'm gonna show you the coloring for all of these because as you can see, I'm putting it dark on the left-hand side and then I'm going to pull out with the water brush and that's where you're gonna get that dimension right there, that um, the shading where you left it first. And I do the same exact thing with the wine bottle. So here, my wine bottle in the center is actually going to be some um, like labels for the wine glass. So I'm going to leave those uncolored and then the wine glasses or the wine bottles are going to look like they're full of wine because they do have a line at the very top of the bottle to make it look like that's how the drawing was intended. Very, very simple coloring, but very fun to do. And so I get all those colored up. Um, I pull out a Wink of Stella Gold to color in the labels for my wine bottles because I thought that added a nice little touch to the wine bottles. This, this color of purple, purplish red, and the gold I thought went really nicely together. So then I take out this really, really light blue, and I'm just going to use that to look on the glass as some shading because I don't want to keep that super stark white. And so I do that on the, around the labels as well. And um, I'm happy with the way this coloring came out. So then I'm going to fussy cut everything out. And I do leave a little white border around all my images. I'm going to cut my panel in half. And you can see that mix that we got. And then I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to draw this shape. Now, you might wonder, what in the world is this shape? <laughs> this shape is meant to be spilled wine. That's what it's meant to be. So again, sometimes my brain, I don't know where these ideas come up. And this one is definitely quirky. And I thought, I'm just going to go with it. I'm just going to have fun with this. This is just fun to me. And so I'm going to cut this down with a Lawn Fawn Rectangle Stitch Die. And I'm just going to figure out where my placement is. So this card is very fun and very cartoony to me. And I have a lot of white space as well. So I thought that was just a lot of fun. Like we're having a party here. We got tons of wine bottles and glasses 
And um, yeah, someone had a little too much fun because there is spilled wine up there on the top. So that's it. I just popped up the wine glasses and um, I glued down the bottles and then I added a little bit of shading throughout. So kind of to ground the bottles and the wine glasses, I just added a little bit of marker shading. Now, at first I forgot that I this was not Bristol Smooth. This is actually Nina. And so I started to use my Arteza markers on it and that is just no good. I'm telling you, it doesn't work. So I took to an alcohol marker. I just drew out some of that shading. And then I'm gonna mat this on a matching and coordinating shimmer piece of cardstock. And that's going to tie in that whole card. I left this sentiment free because I thought this could be a really fun card for any occasion. And I often do that with a lot of my cards. That will give me a lot of freedom when I'm in a pinch for a card. I'm not bound by just one specific. So then I'm going to put that on my 110 pound Nina Solar White card base, adding up some Nouveau Glaze to all of the wine glasses complete wine glasses to make it look realistic, and then also to the tops of my wine bottles. And that will do it for this card. I hope you had fun with this, playing with alcohol inks. Don't forget, they are not just for amazing, beautiful backgrounds. You can use them and cut them out into shapes like this, or coffee splatters, or anything that your imagination will let you do. It's a lot of fun. So I would highly recommend pulling out those alcohol inks and just play. Thank you so much for stopping by for crafting with us. I will link what we used below. Don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss anything from us. And uh, we will see you in the next video. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.